told me that the best time in the world would have been 1940. And literally Freckleson got it. He got the 1940. And so we're going to see perfect ABHs. We are going to see perfect execution of every single step of this Easter egg down to the minute details, which is why I'm so excited. I saw, listen, he grabbed the code name pizza last time, but out of respect, he's doing it again. This is exciting. This is exciting. Did he use killing time? No, man. No, no, no. He didn't, he didn't do none of that. Also, it's crazy how Freckleson has even changed up that first beast mode to get every single part of the bottom of the canals area finished. That, I think, is so cool. Obviously, this is Mega Gobblegums, and we are running all sorts of Megas. Interesting that he doesn't run raindrops here. He actually runs the nuke, and here is the new movement skip with beast mode. One of my favorite movement skips ever. That skip alone, in my opinion, makes beast mode more entertaining than afterlife from Mob of the Dead. Thank you, Moises, for the prime. Uh, but yeah, again, even his positioning I can already see is so much better. Having stayed at the top part of this ritual room, getting a lot of the elims, getting as many points as physically possible while ending round and being able to carry off. I think for sure his next gobblegum here has to be a raindrops. Um, again, there is RNG even with the raindrops to even get stamina up. Let's see if he gets it. So he gets Perka. Okay, so he got stamina up. He's totally fine there. Perka is a huge gobblegum, obviously. He gets these two gob uh, two, these two areas opened up. And then he's going to hit the box, run on the side, see where his symbol is. And you know what's crazy, lads? Is the last Freckleston world record run, I actually forgot to add that Freckleston on his 20-minute flat WR actually guessed the third symbol, which is insane. The first two symbols he found, but then on the third symbol, he guessed. And I'm curious if he's going to do the same thing again with this game. Does he guess the third symbol? He guessed it. He guessed it. He guessed it again. And chat, I, I was saying this before. I was, I remember watching these world records when they were like 23 minutes plus, you know? And I was like, we're just waiting for someone to start guessing the symbols. And there you are. The guessing of the symbols is truly the fastest way to get the sword. It, it will ruin your RNG. It will ruin your game so many times if you don't get it right. But it's a complete guess. Now, it's not a complete guess. I believe there are certain symbols that happen more often with other symbols. And honestly... You can only really understand that by playing the map a lot. And that's ultimately what I think Freckleson has done. He's played the map so much so to the point that he knows which symbols are more likely with other symbols. Still incredibly insane. Still incredibly insane. Lex, can you rewind that? I want to check exactly actually which symbols he got. That's a good point. Um, it was right here. So he got big, 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 single, big, big, double, big. Just all on the row like that. That's insane. Sable, I got you on the rewinds. I got you on the rewinds, man. I've been rewinding your die rise WRs. I got you in the rewind. What's up, Kingman? Obviously, he hits this huge beast mode. It's also interesting now as well how they stopped doing that other strat. You remember that other strat where they go up to the building, they jump off towards where the tram is and then come back? It's crazy that this is faster. That's like I'm, what I'm saying. Guessing is faster, right? So it's just all the differentiations between these runs is what I think makes the world record history of Shadows of Evil so fascinating. Like how broken this map has become to hit this WR, but also how perfect the RNG has been mani manipulated to even hit this sub-20. Chat, this is the first sub-20 in the world. There is only one man who has ever hit sub-20, ever, on Shadows of Evil. And it's this man right here, Frecklesen. Absolute legend. Legit. No other person has ever hit a solo sub-20 WR on Shadows. Which is... That is a very impressive. It already puts Frecklesen in his own league, you know? The, it really is. It's, it's, it's his own league right here. And so he also manages to end round perfectly. That was so, so well done. He got up to the point and just was able to get the gate worm. So here's our first ABH. And that is a perfect ABH because his last area he needs to go to 
is waterfront so there is our first abh perfectly placed right from footlight all the way to waterfront which is insane bro beat his own record you know what frecklesson reminds me of chat he reminds me of mr beast where the only competition that mr beast has anymore is literally just himself he is his own biggest enemy that is frecklesson with shadows of evil bro's biggest enemy is himself at this point like, wait, thank you for the tier one. You reloaded for a max ammo? Yeah, you're cooked, dog. You're cooked. So there is the second ABH from Waterfront already back to the previous area in Waterfront towards the eggs. And I definitely think this is manipulated, not like in a modded way, but just by the way he's decided to open and close certain doors, right? the like abh only can teleport you in an area where you have open and so it, it also can be manipulated because of that same fact which i find so fascinating you know and this strat also that he's ran is also very different even towards his sub tw or his 20 minute flat world record that was pre previous to this you know i find that i find that very very fascinating as well but really it goes to show that you only need to do the specific mechanics. The way he's able to hit that so precisely to me is is so bizarre. I can never hit that thing precisely, bro. Do you think this run will be beaten? So I, I've kind of touched that on that at the beginning of this run. Because I've talked to Freckleson and he believed that 19 minute 40 was the fastest run. And this is even faster than what he believed, which was 19 minute 39. I believe we don't see a faster run than this. And unfortunately, I think Shadows of Evil is capped. I believe Shadows of Evil is capped. If it is capped, it's 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 just by a second. Maybe someone beats this time by a second. Maybe. A second or two, right? But I believe Shadows of Evil now has actually hit its cap. It's hit its cap until someone finds a new skip. And I've said this before in my last video, the skip that I think is most plausible is the flag step skip. But I believe this is the cap for Shadows of Evil solo. If the flag step skip does exist, and it still needs to be worked out, if it does exist, right? It would only ever work on co-op is my guess. But maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but... Ultimately, just from what I've talked about with Freckleson about how the flag step actually works mechanically, I don't Fucking think that man. a duplication glitch would work unless you're playing co-op. Do you think Scotty or Steve will beat this? Literally, just before I started the stream, I saw Scotty on the WR. And so, if anybody... Or actually, sorry, not Steve's brothers. I saw Steve himself on the WR. And so, I really, really hope Steve is... is Steve's an amazing Zombies player. He is one of the best. He got some previous world records for Shadows of Evil Solo. If anyone is to beat Freckleson, I believe it would be him. I, I really do believe it would be him. Um, but ultimately, at this point, I hate to say it, but it does feel like Shadows of Evil has been capped. Which, it sucks to say. It sucks to say because this world record has had such huge advancements. Literally massive advancements over just the past two years and now we're coming up to that point where it might not happen perfect perfect marg was oh my gosh you see how he was able to even take out all of those marg was instantaneously and that also goes to show the skill of frecklesson with the krm here because the krm in my opinion is one of the only guns that can do that where you can take out all three heads pretty much in an instant he has the double apothkin egg here for getting it all the way like dude it's crazy he's gonna be into boss at 19 minutes this in 10 minutes to get stuck in a wall. Oh, yeah. okay. he did miss one one margwa head here but he was able to get it super fast so that was not as big of a time waste the as the last wall, run on waterfront so uh, like i said y'all if this does get beat it's by a second or two and it's by no more maybe we see a 19 minute 45 or sorry 19 minute 35 is what i'm uh, what i mean i doubt though that yeah. we will see a sub 19 unless a new glitch has been found fully frackleson will have it back in a week bro 
so that's the thing, right? Like, we are now at the cap strategy. There's a certain strategy with Shadows of Evil now, with this world record run, that is the fastest, right? And I, I believe there's nothing in-game that people can truly do to make it go by faster. I love how the KRM is still like the best shotgun, such a crazy weapon, and it's also the best wall weapon ever made. It is better than any wall weapon ever put into any other COD Zombies mode ever. So he's cycling his gobble gums here. Again, there's no way I've ever seen a speedrun, world record run, have perfect RNG on gobble gums, and if it does, that's definitely modded. And so that's why when I see him spin that Perkholic to ABH, I see this as very much legit. You know, this is not, this is not fake whatsoever. Imagine we got SOE remastered in next COD. See, if that does happen, I'm going to be honest. I think that th if it doesn't have OP Gobblegum like BO3 does, it would never be this fast. And 10 minutes for upgraded his sword. Look at that. Is insane. He hits the ABH to Canels. Oh my gosh. Wow. I was like, what is he? Wow. No, we replay that. That was insane. So I was like, this ABH is trash. He failed. But no, this was the perfect ABH because literally he ABH from waterfront here to the front of Canals. Let's just skip that. And then literally hits the beast mode glitch to zip line all the way back to where his sword is. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That is like incredibly perfect RNG all maxed out with the glitch and that's why I'm saying bro we need another skip for shadows we need another beast mode grapple type skip to see faster times here you know and that double in skill his drops like cycle has also been stellar really the only thing I've seen as hiccups are a couple margwas and a um Maybe his gobblegum luck, but not even. I don't think perfect gobblegum RNG down to the right gobblegum every time even really exists, you know? So flag step he hits yeah, with an ABH. That ABH, I would say, is probably his worst one, but it's not even that bad considering he was right in junction. I wouldn't even say that ABH was bad at all. It was totally fine. So let's watch here. He gets his flag obviously started up. What if the beast mode was in Die Rise Remastered? Could you imagine? Could you imagine turning into the member of the, of the flesh in Die Rise Remastered? That would be kind of crazy, bro. That would be kind of crazy. So yeah, chat. Also, for people wondering why he was looking up at the ceiling before, that was a spawn manipulation for the ritual Eight. room of spawn. So Same that That's pretty new. Eight. I haven't seen that in runs probably that's since good. 2023 was very new. Should I you grapple? Know? I don't want to... Is he gonna grapple with the flag? Oh, bro, no wonder this is WR. I, as soon as I heard he's gonna grapple, he's gonna grapple with the flag. No way. Oh okay, my so gosh. Quickly, eight to 17. So this is already a skip on the SOE WR. This didn't even happen on Freckleson's last run. Dude, okay, I want to see this. So this is technically a flag step skip, is using the grapple skip to get in. Unfortunately, I feel like this only works with junction because the other grapple spots to get into the ritual rooms kind of suck. They're not really that great. Like, this one is huge for SOE. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I never thought that to be possible. I thought you would lose the flag step if you went into beast mode. That is incre That is impressive. That is impressive. Wow. And flag is got flag is up. Wow. And then he spawn manipulates here to end round, doesn't he? Oh, he's got a nuke. Interesting that he's ran nuke here. You know. I don't think I ran. I saw previous runs where he ran nuke. Most people would run raindrops, but he has raindrops on as well. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So literally, that's around. 
And again, he has to be on a low enough round to even be able to switch them fast enough. So he's going to be doing flag step on 8, 9, 10, and 11, which is really big. Imagine looking at this, Treyarch. MF still play this? Bro, of course, man. You don't see people speedrunning non-Treyarch games, bro, anymore. Like, you do, but the scene is, like, nothing as compared to what BO3 did. And also, it's interesting that he decided to use the TP for Canels, because that is the fastest way to TP without using ABH to the flag step spawns, is going through the canal portal from, from where the flag spawns. But this is very impressive. Again, he has another, a little bit unlucky Margua, but he is running this through perfectly. He doesn't even care about the bugs. I find that fascinating. The Margua. But yeah, that Margua was... He, he, he dealt with that so fast. Hopefully next COD is more fun to speedrun. It will be because if Gobblegums are in the nice. game, I can already tell you it'll be much more fun to speedrun. Like in my opinion, chat, one in the chat if you agree, BO3 and BO4 speedruns are the most entertaining because of Gobblegum and Elixir. That's that's the reason. That is flat out the reason. Nobody really likes watching Cold War speedruns outside of what you see with field upgrade skips. Like with Ether Shroud, you teleport through the map. Or, you know, like Ring of Fire. But it's it's not the same as Gobbles. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. That and the movement. I agree. Yeah, I hope they are P. Listen, they gotta get you to buy them. You know they're going to probably be microtransactional based, so they got to get you to buy them. Chat, this would be the greatest thing ever. If they made the Gobblegum system egregiously microtransaction based, I'd be fine with that. If there were no operators in Zombies. If they added a four-set crew in Zombies, no operator bundles, bundles, but made the Gobblegum system the microtransaction system, I think they would do that. They need to do that. That's two separate microtransaction systems they're going to put in the game to make bank. And I'm going to be honest, y'all. I think zombie players spent more money on the gobblegums than actual operator bundles in these newer games. One in the chat, degree. I'm, I'm just spitting facts. I'm just spitting facts. I'm just saying it the way it is because I think that's the truth. They were making record microtransaction sales with gobblegums. It literally boggles my mind that Cold War never launched with them, too. You know? Boggles my mind. You're the only one that spent money on Gobblegum? Have you heard of someone uh, named uh, Noah J456? Uh, let me just show you something here. Let me uh, let me just show you something here. This is, uh, is going to be very interesting for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just, just, just have to set the facts straight there. Just have to set the facts straight. Also, round nine was a max ammo round. So this, this is literally perfect RNG. He has a max ammo round for his next flag. Like, chat, listen, I did Liquid Divinium openings too, but I didn't do as many as Noah J, bro. Noah J went in, man. I mean, I went in too, but oh, man. Oh, shit. You know? You can't be pitting me as the only person who bought Gobble, bro. I, I refuse to believe it. I refuse for all that for one perka, bro. Yeah, don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me about that criminal. Criminal, bro. Okay. So, round has transitioned perfectly. Even the round transitions are much better than the last run. Just how he was able to get through to these areas already so fast. He's got another Margwa too. He's also saving his nuke for this round. And I think it's interesting now that they try to end the round even, or at least take out a lot of the zombies before even grabbing the next flag. It's, uh, it's genius. It's literally genius. So there you go. Oh, and he preemptively pops the nuke as well. 
Oh, and he gets a double. Well, look how many nukes he has. Okay, so he's only grabbing one of these, right? What is he going to do? Okay, I was about to say, yeah. The other one doesn't really matter now because the 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 meatballs and the bugs are spawning in. Who else thought he was going to die there? I mean, yeah, he's kind of cutting it close. But now Footlight, he's got going. He didn't even activate the trap, bro. He said, I'll just, I'll just shoot them with my KRM. What an absolute legend. No, this is... This is, uh, this is, uh, Freckleston dropping his ball sack on everybody who's speedrunning SOE type run here. Bro is not even running the, uh, the, the best parts. Wow. Freckleston's in the chat. What's up, Freckleston? I'm doing what now? I mean, you're dropping your ball sack on everybody speedrunning. Bro, literally, look at the Twitch category of Black Ops and Freckleston right now. And, I mean, Steve was streaming before. Bro is bro is gunning after the WR after you, bro. People are cooking. But yeah, Freck said, I just want to say I will not upload this until you give me the green light. I'm just reacting on Twitch first, but the video will be coming out whenever you whenever you want it, so I'm fine with that. It's the speed runner. Um what this bro you admitted that you speed run butt naked chat why are we attacking freckleston what is going on fam? what is going on? is this what happens when you get sub 20 on soe man is this what i bro what are y'all up to what are y'all on about bro this is insane insider knowledge bro is fully nude <laughs> Am I about to make another title like that? Revelations world record off drug, shadows of evil, off a nude man. Oh man. What is the community coming to? I actually have clothes on in this run. Confirmed. Chat, clothing was on, confirmed. This was a clothed zombie speed run. Confirmed. Butt naked for the focus. Did confirm. Chat, myth busted. Myth busted. It's to reduce friction. Exactly. It's to reduce friction, bro. Well said. I have to hit. Well said. I want to guarantee ABH. I have to hit. I, I, bro, I want to see this gobble gum. Ooh, okay, raindrops. Yeah. So he's spinning, bro. Your gobble gum cycle this run, Frackleson, was way better even than the last run. And I was commenting how your transitions each flag step here is way smoother than before. And I think it's because you got a you got really good natural drop cycling this game. This is one of the best games I've seen for just natural uh, drop cycles. I lose time to guarantee ABH here. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Nobody's hit a sub twenty apart from you, so it's like you only lost time to yourself because of how ridiculous it is. Yeah, I did notice you did get a couple extra perkaholics. You did get a couple extra perkaholics here. But you know what, man? The fact that you're doing this with a Margwa and, like, the Shadow Man. Okay. So the ABH is there. And the Death Machine is huge, bro. Oh, man. You timed that really well. That was really well. That was really well timed. No, just... Just not even on a mechanical standpoint. From a straight luck standpoint. This is already clearing the last run by so much like the only unlucky part i see is your your goblin i'm cycling with just a Dude, bit I too many extra purpose in my life yeah the final fucking time <laughs> freckles it you're taking a break right please tell me you're taking a break i still think it's gonna take steve a long time to beat this run i don't think he get he beats this uh, see this is the thing i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this and steve's gonna beat it tomorrow <sighs> Dude. Every time I say something, the opposite happens. So I'm just going to start saying that he's going to beat it tomorrow. So that he doesn't beat it tomorrow. I don't think it gets beat without anything new. Well, that's what I was saying, Frackleson. From your DMs, from your and I's DMs, it just seems like this is the cap. And I was saying, Frackleson, if anyone beats you, it's by half a second or a second, you know? Legit. It, it's it, it's by barely a second. 
So fe Slam last up. flag is done. We're on to boss. Bro, this is the fastest boss entry ever. 1925. Wow. Oh, shit. What a year, bro. I could tell you were freaking out here, bro. This is insane. Just keep an eye on. And beautiful. Oh, I was about to say, did he get one side? Oh, could you imagine if you hit one side? If you hit one side there, 1938, easy. Oh my gosh. Wow. That would have been cold if you hit the one side there, but that is insane. GG's Frankelson, hearts in the chat for Frankelson in chat. That is seriously impressive. Wow. Wow. That's, that's wow. outrageous. That's fucking outrageous. What the? Wow. What did you do? <laughs> I'm like four at the end of Infinity War. After you just meant. What, is, oh what am I hearing? Oh, I, was, I know he died like three fucking times. Wow. Oh, fuck me. No, those were those are easily, I think, the best ABHs. I would go as far as to say those were perfect. Like the junction one was a little bit off, or sorry, the spawn one was a little off. But I mean, this was this was this was incredible, incredible one. Three perfect ABHs. Yeah, there was one that was all right, but like for real, though, no, th these ABHs were stellar, 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 stellar. <laughs> GGS, man. <laughs> Wow. Oh my fucking god. That's, that is ridiculous. Flag step skip. Flag step skip. Flag step skip. That's it. That's the only thing I can see that could beat what we have now. Flag step skip, man. We gotta figure out how to duplicate them. What, I gotta pull out my ether cord out of the PS5 or something? I don't know, man. GG's though. GG's, Frackleson. Great run, man. Great run.